Everything is peaceful in the cold forest. And so let's go take this killer, show the dining on the locos. You were traveling back in time. Millions of years flash by in seconds. You're going face to face with the wildest creatures that ever walked the earth. You're about to explore a prehistoric planet. Welcome to the bottom of the world. This is what Antarctica used to look like. Oh, 106 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. Right now they're just trees which have been used to call forests. We're only 200 miles across the South Pole. And that's where we're at. The South Pole of Antarctica. <laughs> what about the ice? Well, don't wait. Come winter, there will be plenty of them. And plus, total darkness, as you will see later. Right now, Antarctica is now, is now a forest place where life flourishes. <laughs> and this is one of, the, one of the most harshest places on Earth. Four kind of, four kind of minutes, and quickly find out here. Well, Leanna saw for one. This is her forest. Oh. Oh. Leanna saw uh, 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 to six feet long. And, and the only way to it to 22 pounds. That's about for the turkey. And plus, I think that they got super, super cool eyes of night vision. That I haven't seen to do the long. Polar winter. The long, dark polar winter. And plus, they, they have an excellent, super cute. But cute won't keep you alive through the polar winter. And Lanasaur are another way of surviving. They live in a clan. While well, one of them watch out for danger, while well, the other is playing neat. Right now, it'll be dark soon, and the clan must stay together. Oh. When the when the clan member spots something, yep, I think it might be danger. So, are they gonna run? Well, I don't know, because this thing looks super weird. Okay, I guess Leanna Saw has nothing to worry about. It's cool as so guess, but while 60 feet long, it only weighs about 1,000 pounds. He, 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 he has no threat to the lands of the landscape. But in the water, he's got lethal lunge and a mouth built for biting. So what are you doing out of the water? I don't know. Probably because he was trying to wake up because of after hibernation. Or maybe he's looking for food. Well, no, because they primarily attack in the water. So I think he might be making way to another water. Because he, he he's in that river too much, and plus it's kind of winter so so you must stay in fresh water where it can be cool enough to survive it before the polar winter begins. Ah, right, there you go, sweet water, isn't it? Come on, bud, you can do it. Come on, come on, tap hole. Hurry up. Hockey doesn't shorter. 
All right, you did it. Now you can stay in the water all you want, or you be hunting, or just relaxing, having fun. Meanwhile, it's only been a few days later, and Leanna and Sarah clan are doing something special. For you to think they are making forts, and you are wrong. They kind of accept that, that they are making nesting grounds, as they're about to lay eggs soon, and you must be ready for this. And, and plus, it'd be a good ground for them to stay safe from predators. Uh, as a protector grounds. And this look out's looking out for danger. So so while they're picking out the nesting grounds to stay here. They're also aren't very aware of the danger they're looking in. And neither is for this lookout here because he's looking in different directions. And plus someone is watching them. Meet the polar allosaurus. He is 20 feet long, a little smaller than his old Jurassic cousin, but don't estimate him. He's a vicious migratory predator, and he comes down from the north every spring for some of that favorite stick to your worms home cooking. I'm cooking. And look at that vicious mouth. It's like he is ready for some of that delicious, most juicy Leonosaurus. And the clan has not been paying special attention. And look, I was not paying attention to them. So that means that this predator is ready to strike. He hear a sudden ambush. He's gonna try to catch one of them. Probably the lookout because it's getting far away from the group. The look at sense the danger. Ooh, someone got knocked out. Ooh, well that she has toast. And he falls down again. And the Leah and Asura are getting away. And someone is about to get toast. And he's pretty annoying with this failed attempt. But he knows where they live. He'll, he'll be back for them later. You all doing the spring in the forest. The plants are growing. <laughs> soon it will be snowing soon. And these plants will be protected with snow to keep them warm until spring begins in a couple of months. So you think it's just Lena and Sora in, in, in this polar ice forest? Well, you are wrong because there was another herbivore dinosaur somewhere and ah, we found it. <laughs> and, and, and he likes to come out of the summer from the delicious polar trees. Ah, the mighty Mudderbrosaurus, 30 feet long and weighing about four tons. They also have a pretty good weapon tail with his jaws and teeth. But the, the tail those shrubs like a walking wood chippers. Wood chipper. Like we said, these herbivores can't take an allosaurus. Just like we in a sore, Mudderbrosaurus live in herds, but this one's been strangler has been separated from the group, but we think that he will survive this polar winter somehow or else he won't make it. Right now it's time, time to rest up and start grazing. And you are back with the leader of the Sora clan. The lady female, the leader of the clan, I just laid an egg. She has laid that egg in a couple of days, and soon she must keep it warm and safe from predators. Well, however, there are some egg thieves in this area, 
and some of them want to get a hint of those eggs like they like for this mammal meet Quatamundi. He is from the raccoon family. He has been sucking eggs for millions of years. Go please, go see for yourself. South America is still across with what Quatamundi's today. Day. So do you think the future of time still be at stake? Uh, and how the how the lion sword defend itself its egg? Oh, I'm sorry. You wanted the eggs? How about you try out tell us how the eggs to go? Go on, scram. He has been grazing peacefully. These, 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 these delicious plants have been fantastic. And meanwhile, with our carnivore, he's looking for some easier prey. He, he'll try to go over to get my amatabotosaurus. Perhaps his veggies cannot fight back. We'll have it with this meal. His veggies can fight back. Right now, the Demarbus was acting defensively. And King Carnival is outside. Outnumber. And out of here. King Carnival is zero. Murder Boy is one. Be a zip for King Carnivore, so it's back to the forest where he belongs, and hopefully for an easier kill. Meanwhile, back to the forest, we see the female's egg hatch. Right now, he's only one month old now, well, which means that this could be an easier taking for predators. Right now, the hatchlings still got a lot of work to do. Okay, well, now now the eggs are hatched. It's time to tidy up. But 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 the but the quarty Mundi might come back. But the mother has an easier defense. She breaks the egg, and then she's trashing it. That way, hungry predators won't find out about the hatchlings. And she won't stay with it at all costs. It has been a few weeks, and the hatchlings has not been able to walk. For the one thing, getting lost. But do you know what the most exciting part is? Hatchlings cry. And luckily, mom comes back. To the rescue and carries her by the mouth, then puts her back in the nest where he belonged. Right now, let's go back to the river. Me on with this mother brought a source. He, 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 he managed to defend himself, putting a gun against the owl source. Even though he managed to defend himself, but isn't he done defending himself? Well, for your fans answer, that would be a no, because there's something inside him. His ear has been infected by some parasites. But this, you know dinosaurs have skin, the skin is still soft. And that would be, yeah, disgusting. At least he'll manage to shake it off. We were back in the forest. We learned that there's no sound left. Everything is peace and quiet. It was like this, the, 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 this meal has got to rest for a start. Oh, for the youngster, he is playing very well. Be careful not to wake its mother. Right now, he is learning the survivors because of the Leonisora, pressing his escape plans. Luckily, he wakes up the mother, and then, okay, that was mean. It's 
to walk to play someone else without disturbing mother. You are the water's edge. The water's still freezing, but not that very much, just a little bit. Yeah, and, and then the ice might be thick, and, and, and that's why it may not be such a good idea to go near the edge of it while it's still frozen. Oh, probably be on someone wants about it. And it becomes curious at it. Without paying attention to the danger. He doesn't even know what his name is. But do you remember him? The tadpole, cool as Right now, he is getting very, very curious at it. But the coast is getting closer and closer to him. So I guess it's way inside. I better watch out! <laughs> Luckily, he's at the jump of his life. And that may have worried your mom too much. But luckily, the answer is safe and sound back with his mother. Meanwhile, in the edge of the river, the Lanosaurus has some pretty good feeding grounds thanks to Mother Bullosaurus. They have good plants and more leaves to eat. Well, the Marbosaurus sees a plant he does not like, he gives it away to the Lanosaurus clan. Right now, summer's almost over, and the Marbosaurus know he must get going. He must travel along the forest to find a new feeding ground. So that way, he can stay safe from predators. And then suddenly, uh-oh, I think this murder was so much may have gotten lost. But don't worry, he's in the senses. He finally learns to find a way to the feeding grounds. And, and thanks to all that rumbling sounds, the clan can hear the approaching danger. It's the perfect time for an hour source ambush. Our clan can hear I'm coming. And the killer moves closer. And it's total chaos. The clans flee in terror. But then the the, the the female leader didn't make it. <laughs> Our source gets his meal. has been deserved. The leader is dead. Now I went to a new army sale and what we're putting for that leader, there could be some chaos here.
and for the color circus, the water is freezing here, so she must get back to her original lake where she came from. She's almost there. Come on, you can do it. Go check out for you again. So you are gonna make it. Alright, you are right here. So I guess everything might be fine for you. Good luck, buddy. Right now, in a few minutes, winter will begin. Which might cause trouble for the clan. Right now. The clan must move on without the without the dominant female. They can't live here or else they might get eaten by predators. Well however, they do have one advantage though. They must migrate here. So let me guess they're just migrating like elephants, water bees, and zebras and geese. Well I guess that that would be a yes. And so they they go. See, here it goes. Good luck, guys. Stay safe. Now, there's been a few hours left. And soon, the polar winter begins. Soon, it will get completely dark. And no creature will want to be able to see the light of day. It's getting so dark that some creatures won't be able to be nocturnal again. Plus, all the plants are getting covered by snow in order to keep the temperatures to normal states. And see, like that, all the plants have been safe. While some others didn't. As the leaves have been falling, and this tree won't be able to survive much longer through the, through, through, through the polar winter. It's like that, that some of the plants have survived. Behold it. What's this? It's the Leonosaur clan, and they managed to find food. They must eat fast or else they could starve. Well, what well, well, we do know is that there have been some plants on the ground too, and once they dwell, dwell on, however, they can, can't get to it, so, so they have to be forced to eat snow from now on. And some had had to dig it out to get them. So once they succeed, however, one is asleep right now because it's already eaten. Right now, the others must do the same. I'm cleaning for this young one. He must stay safe to survive this winter. Don't worry, guys. Hang on, you guys. I'm gonna be just fine. It's been a few days, and the Leonosaurus clan managed to survive this. They raised the, the vision to see in the dark, and plus they used their beaks to, to, to pluck food out of the ice and try to break it. While some of them survive, one Leonosaurus didn't. It had been frozen there because it got trapped in the ice and die shortly after. And when this happened, food becomes plentiful for predators like Kurosugis.
I like him in y'all for this guy. Now you guys may be asking, what is the West of the Lannisaw clan? Well, yeah, they are. As this young one was almost going to be a juvenile, ready for a test of leadership. And the peers are fighting for it. That's why you better leave. As the young one has become the new leader of the clan, the dominant one. Luckily, life had managed to start again. New eggs have hatched. The young ones have been thriving to become the one of the most anticipated herbivores of the planet. And his Leonisaur will go up to play a big part in leadership and surviving the polar winter again. This time, they are using their features for it. And with this guy's the new dominant female, life will, will go over in the same circle over and over again. They'll have plenty of plants to eat, and then they'll just survive the polar winter again, and they'll have a big battle over leadership. And that could be a history of this clan.